Hello and a welcome to the latest uh, Lakosa PC game review video. I'll start with a bit of a uh, explanation. I have one almighty sore throat and I am losing my voice big time. So I don't know if I'm going to actually uh, be able to do a decent job of uh, doing this. Largely because I'm having to speak more, I think, during this video than I have actually spoken out loud for the last two days. Because it bloody hurts too much. <laughs> Now, on top of that, I need to somehow try and explain this game. Well, it's by Llamasoft, so it is another uh, uh, Jeff Minter game. So you know it's going to be mad on the old... Uh, uh, I, I've got to start to get rid of that fucking unbearable uh, so-called title music. Anyway, it's by Jeff Minter, uh, so you know it's going to be heavy on the effects and it's going to look like you've you know, taken a huge amount of LSD. Um, so, it's easier if I try and explain it as I play it, so here we go. Right, now you play on this grid area which is uh, approaching now and the idea is to try and push back as many of these attack waves as you can by destroying uh, as many of them as you can but you need to try and keep that uh, power bar I've made a total fuck up of this you need to keep that power bar as high up as you possibly can however uh, there is a bit more to it than that once that power bar is actually uh, I am unambitious. I am where this game is concerned. Uh, once that power bar is showing, and those uh, various targets and what have you are uh, actually within touching distance like that, you can then collect them which gives you a far greater score as well as increasing your uh, multiplier and getting you various other uh, bonuses uh, I don't um, well, I think I've pretty much explained what uh, there is in the game. Apparently I just got destroyed there, but I haven't got the faintest clue how. And again there. Again, I have no idea how. I'm obviously firing or hitting or getting hit by their uh, bullets and um, just uh, doing a real uh, bit, you know, uh, seriously shit job of it. Alright, let's try again. It looks like we're staying on level 3. It's not what I wanted to see. doing slightly better this time. Only that's not difficult. Uh, 
they are still firing at me, but uh, they don't seem to be hitting. I think that's that level completed. I did a little bit of that time, but uh, I wouldn't exactly say I did superbly well. There you go, I'm a bit rubbish. Let's see how we do on this time. Well, I'm doing okay at keeping the uh, power bar back. some sort of power up, uh, I can't like it, it does. Ah, straight into that. I was doing okay up until that point. change the direction in which you are firing by using the uh, other uh, stick. Although quite why you'd want to do that, I don't know. Uh, because of this layout, I'm having a bloody hard time even seeing where the bullets are, let alone avoiding them. Bloody mental now. That's because uh, I've not picked it up. You have to pick it up for each level. Oh, well, I completed that one. I don't think I've got a particularly huge amount of lives for it, or a particularly huge score um, on that one. Bland. Well, I'm getting better. Oh, 
a lot of people who described this game as basically being a, a, or a clone of uh, uh, Tempest. Tempest 2000, if you want to be uh, specific about it. Um, but I think that's me down. And yeah, I mean it is really, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, that's that's uh, that's that's me done with that one. Um, so that's that's the oh fuck you know. Right, this title screen music, and I say music in the broadest possible sense. It's based on the like, Cold War broadcasts that used to be made, uh, which just consisted of a load of numbers being read out. And uh, apparently it meant something to somebody. Uh, well, so the theory goes, I think they didn't mean fuck all, they were just done to confuse the enemy. And... Uh, it just irritates the fuck out of me, largely because it's some irritating kid's voice speaking absolute bollocks. So, we'll get out of there and get onto this screen so at least I can get rid of that fucking unbearable music. So, well, uh, what do I think of it? I don't. I, I just can't stand this game. Um, the problem with Jeff into games is that they go from one extreme to the other. They always look great. They always look like, you know, some, well, especially on the PC, they, they look like some LSD fueled bloody nightmare. Um, but the actual gameplay, I mean, the games always go from one extreme to the other. They're either extremely good or fucking awful because they are needlessly, you know, overdone, uh, and that's what the category that this falls into, I mean, that Grid Runner um, revolution that I reviewed before this, that was fine, uh, the gameplay was simple, this is not, um, yeah, it's, a lot of the time there is so much happening on screen that you can't see what the fuck you're doing. Uh, I think just about every time, maybe with one exception actually, um, when I lost a life I didn't have a fucking clue as to why I did. Uh, because I couldn't see what was going on. Um, okay, two exceptions. One of them was because the power bar that I needed to keep um, on display had disappeared. I let that uh, you know, come up towards the ship, and when that happens, if you run into anything, um, it will destroy her. Um, so yeah, I don't like the gameplay. Sound-wise, some of it's good. The music. Um, well, the music I would say is good if it didn't have that fucking title page music. But it does have that title page music, and that title page music, uh, that title page music is such a load of shit that it makes me hate the music in general. Um, and on top of that. Uh, when you pick up uh, the power-ups and you get the Moo Moo uh, effect, that's been sampled from the KLF. Now, I detest the KLF. They are one of the most unbelievably pretentious bunch of wankers that ever infested 80s and 90s music. And, um... According to uh, either Wikipedia or some games uh, Wikipedia equivalent, it was sampled from the track uh, What Is Love? Well, 
around that time, every fucking song that the KLF did featured some that, that same irritating Moo Moo sample. Now, I'm not going to go into any details as to where it came from, because I do know, but I will, I will feel like I need to bath in Clorox just because I've explained where it came from. And so much so I detest it. So the fact that it's been sampled and put in here is not a good thing. So yeah, there are a lot of things in terms of the sound that annoy me and I hate. Uh, the gameplay also annoys me and I hate it. Uh, so graphically it's okay. That's where the good things start and finish. Naturally, well, graphically, it's okay so far as the atmosphere, you know, the uh, the whole drug fueled thing. But when you're playing the game, there is so much going on that a lot of the time you can't see what you're doing, as I think I've illustrated. And I think, uh, I mean, I dare say if you play the game a, a fair amount, you probably will be able to see what you're doing. The trouble is the gameplay is so unforgiving and so annoying that, well, for me at least, I have no desire to uh, keep playing it long enough to be able to figure it out. So I'm not going to. I'll give this game 2 out of 10 and uh, say bollocks to it and I've got about actually I reckon I've got more chance of playing Elite Dangerous again than I have of playing this and anybody who's spoken to me over the last couple of days will know that's not happening so there you go uh, that is Space Giraffe uh, 2 out of 10 awful uh, so that brings this video to an end uh, we'll see you in the next one